Hey y'all and welcome to day three of our 12 days of Christmas with Artistry Epoxy. We had a beautiful blue mica in our advent box for this day, so let's get started making this crackle tumbler. So, funny story, I started with a True 22 from the Steel Magnolia, and we were going to put a nice dome lid on top of this, which is the Cafe Dome. Well, once I had epoxy on this tumbler and it was ready to go for our design, for whatever reason, I had started the extra small dome lid that fits on a 24 ounce plump. So I sat this one to the side after I had glittered and epoxied and started over with a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. So that is why this tumbler is different than the one that we are going to be finishing in the tutorial. But in the end, I didn't finish the dome lid so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I do, however, plan to finish that dome lid for the 24 ounce plump that we use just Christmas chaos and life, you know, it's, it's hard to give the full attention. So anyway, we are using a makeup brush to apply this Colorflex Color Fix paint. It is a paint primer and adhesive all in one. And for this tutorial, we are going to be using it as an adhesive. I've had lots of questions on how to apply these paints and how they work. The biggest thing that I can just preach to everyone is do thin coats. If you do thick coats of paint, you're going to get areas that sort of clump up and crack. And really that's with just about any paint. You can't expect it to perform at its fullest if it is glumped up on your project. So make sure that you are using a makeup brush. I usually use the all over or a blush brush. These give excellent coverage without being too large of a brush that it, you know, don't go really well over the edges. White is one of the hardest paints to hand paint on a tumbler. And as you can see, we have incredible coverage with just two thin coats of this color fix paint. And on the second coat, I am immediately going to go in with my glitter. I allowed that to sit for about an hour and then went in with two light coats of a matte clear spray paint and then I gave it two coats of epoxy. I have sanded my tumbler smooth and then we are going to add on our crackle stencil. I used this in one of my past tutorials a couple months ago so I will link that down below on how I resized this to fit the tumbler. I was having some major issues with design space. I actually think everybody was. So I did not record this because it was lagging super awful and it would have been a very long video just to show you how to resize this. So I'm going to take my stencil, put it right in the center of my tumbler, wrap it around and make sure all of these little pieces have flattened out really well. You don't want any lumps or bumps in there that your paint and glue can seep through. Once we have our stencils all pressed down, we're going to go in with blue passport from Color Shot. This was almost an exact match to our blue Christmas mica. And then we're going to use my new favorite glue, which is the full glue from Southern Bell Glitter. This can also be used to apply micas or use the tack it method on glitter. It is super 
it's thin and super sticky. And when I say super sticky, I mean you can do a very thin coat on your tumbler and throw it at the wall and it's going to stick. I'm just kidding. It's not going to do that. Don't throw your cups at your wall. But I'm using a makeup brush, the same one that we used to apply our Color Fix paints. And I'm doing a mega thin coat of this stuff. I'm going to allow that to dry and then we'll go in with our micas. I was smart and put on a glove this time. I didn't feel like being covered in mega mini blue sparkles <laughs> for the rest of the day. I highly suggest you do the same because this blue is super, super pigmented, as you can see. So it will most definitely stick to you and anything that it gets on. So I just sprinkled on some of this blue Christmas mica and I'm rubbing it into that glue and once you have this whole tumbler coated if you want to brush off some of that dust or excess then you can also go in with a dry makeup brush it's very fine and soft so it's not going to cause any streaks in your mica powder so you can go in with a makeup brush that is dry and brush off any excess mica powder that may be on your tumbler before you seal that in After you have finished your mica application, then go in with two very thin coats of a matte clear sealer, and then you can remove your stencils after that has dried. So my intent for this tumbler was to use some really pretty blue Creative Fabrica flowers, the watercolor ones that I use on a lot of my tumblers. Well, I found some and then used the print to cut feature on design space and they cut horribly there were so many tiny elements and I remembered after that that I had some of the blue florals from the Susanna Renaud or Glamour Tribe Customs uh, rub-on transfers from Southern Belle Glitter so I gave this tumbler a coat of epoxy and then added on those florals and it it just wasn't working for me although they were absolutely beautiful it didn't fit the tumbler, if that makes sense. So I sanded off the rub-on transfers and headed over to Creative Fabrica, my favorite place to grab files and images, and found this absolutely beautiful winter frame. It looks so elegant and I thought it would be perfect for this tumbler, especially since we had intentions of doing a bling lid. So I grabbed that and went on a search for a winter scene to put in the center and I found this beautiful deer oh my gosh it is so pretty so I resized the image to three and a half inches and then I just overlaid the frame and resized it until that little circle in the center acted as a outline or an offset for our deer since our tumbler at this point has been through it and is heavily sanded, I am going to seal this prior to adding it onto our tumbler using the ColorFlex glitter glue. If you use glitter glue to seal in your print to cut vinyl before you apply it to your tumblers, make sure that you do remove any of that excess and weed out your image before the glue does dry. My absolute favorite printable vinyl is Buttercraft's matte printable vinyl. I will have it linked down below for y'all. It is from Amazon and it is the best that I have ever tried and y'all know I have used a lot of printable vinyl in my tutorials. 
So I added our frame on first, minus the little offset in the center, just so I can make sure that I get that centered up perfectly. Then we can add on our print to cut image and then go back in with that offset or overlay. Since we will be taking a transfer tape over top of our printable vinyl, you want to make sure that you take near almost all of the tack away from your transfer tape. So make sure you stick it to the wall, stick it to your clothes, whatever you have to do to remove a lot of that tack and then it is safe to use on top of your printed vinyl. After I had our image on, I didn't feel like the tumbler really was tied together, if that makes sense. So I added the first of the two final layers of epoxy to the tumbler. I got it covered really well. And then I'm going to take some tinsel from Colorflex and add that to the remaining parts of the tumbler just to pull that gold all the way around and tie everything in together. And I completely forgot to mention that when I put epoxy over top of our blue mica, I did add in some of the Christmas cookie. That way it would give it a little bit of a snowy look. So if you see that reflective blue flakes on top of our blue mica, that is the Christmas cookie. I gave this a light sand and then a final coat of epoxy on top of that, and this one was complete. To cause me so much trouble, this one is probably one of the favorites that I have done in all of my Christmas tutorials. I love how this turned out. I'm obsessed with, you know, outdoor life and animals, so I'm really drawn to this one, and I might keep it for myself. If you did not get your hands on an advent box, they are still available on the Artistry website. I will have that link below for you. And you can also play along daily at the virtual advent calendar on their website to take part in the daily deals and grab one or both of the items shown in this tutorial. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and we'll see you next time.